Nickelodeon has been pumping out successful TV shows for decades, with the 90s being the golden era for the channel. From Are You Afraid of the Dark to Clarissa Explains It All to Kenan and Kel, it was a staple for pop culture and the network is still thriving today. However, have you ever wondered what happened to the child stars we came to know and love? We know what happened to Josh, but what happened to Drake? Do we know? Well, today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 10 actors who disappeared from Nickelodeon. Let's jump in. Coming in at 10, Logan Henderson from Big Time Rush. From 2009 to 2013, Big Time Rush was a huge success on Nickelodeon and starred Kendall Schmidt, Carlos Pena Vega, James Maslow, and of course Logan Henderson, all characters who made up the members of the band the show was about. Now, most of the cast have gone on to bigger and better things, however, Henderson hasn't done too much since the show came to an end. Since Big Time Rush, the actor has become best known for dating Mackenzie Vega, the younger sister of Carlos Pena Vega's wife. Although he hasn't done much acting, he has been been trying his hand at being a solo artist, with the star releasing a debut single called Sleepwalker, released back in January of 2017, following it up with Bite My Tongue in October 2017. Now, considering we haven't really heard of his music, it's uncertain whether his music career will be as successful as his acting career. Time will tell. In at 9, Ross Hull, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Some of our older viewers may remember Ross Hull as the character Gary, aka the founder of the Midnight Society in Are You Afraid of the Dark? During production of Are You Afraid of the Dark, Hull also landed a role on the show Student Bodies, which if you're Canadian, you will definitely remember. He made a handful of appearances on television shows following the success of both shows. However, he retired from acting not long after, taking a completely different route in life. In 2005, Hull appeared as a weatherman on Canada's The Weather Network, as well as working as the weatherman for CBC Ottawa and Global Toronto. At the time of this recording, Hull works as a meteorologist for Global News, going from cursed objects to issuing the forecast. Talk about switcheroo. Coming in at 8, Danny Tamborelli from All That. Remember the show All That? The American sketch comedy show that ran for 9 seasons from 1994 to 2005. It was great, and comedy gold for kids growing up in the 90s. Danny Tamborelli was one of the most popular cast members of the sketch show and went on to appear on Figure It Out and The Adventures of Pete and Pete. When you think of classic Nickelodeon, he definitely comes to mind. So what happened to this actor? Well, as it stands, he now lives a relatively normal life outside of the spotlight, with the actor stating that he never really developed an attachment to fame. After leaving the industry, he got a job at a pet shop, before breaking into the industry once again, but this time as a writer. However, that didn't last long, and he eventually went to college instead, earning a BA in interdisciplinary arts. It may also come as a shock to some of you to learn that Tamborelli actually voiced a character in the popular Grand Theft Auto video games. So while he doesn't act now, he's still very much involved in the entertainment industry. Coming in at 7, Rob Pinkston from Ned's Declassified. Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide was a hugely popular popular show back in the early 2000s, with the character of Coconut Head being a fan favourite. Played by Rob Pinkston, this character had incredibly round hair and provided plenty of laughs for young kids, even inspiring memes and a very strange fandom. On top of Ned's Classified, he also appeared in multiple episodes of MTV's Punked. Remember that? And short circuits. However, he took a break from acting and instead went to school to earn a BA in film production. Following that, he appeared in multiple shorts like Hero Sandwich and A Death in Vegas. More recently, he has appeared in a youth focused comedy show called This Just In, but aside from that, you won't be finding this actor in the spotlight anytime soon. Coming in at six, Kel Mitchell from Keenan and Kel. Who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. Is it true? Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. Mm-hmm. Who remembers that? If you don't, get right out now. Just kidding. Please don't leave. Now, we're all familiar with Kenan Thompson from Kenan and Kel, who was the longest serving cast member in SNL history, with his fame resulting in us easily overlooking his co star, Kel Mitchell. So, what happened to him? After Kenan and Kel, he got into stand up, comedy, writing, directing, and voiceover work, with him voicing the character T Bone on Clifford the Big Red Dog. However, he did shoot back into the spotlight for a brief period when a rumour circulated that he had died. Thankfully that wasn't true. As of today, you can check out Kel Mitchell on his show Game Shakers back on Nickelodeon. 
I'm cheating a little bit with this number. He's come full circle, guys. So sweet. Coming in at five, Devin Wettkaiser from Ned's Declassified. We've got another Declassified actor at this number. The star of the show, Ned, played, of course, by Devin Wettkaiser. Following his days at Nick, he went on to play Peter Parks on the ABC family show Greek, as well as landed some smaller roles in films such as Beneath the Darkness and The Prankster, all films we haven't heard of, but that's fine. However, he has yet to land a major role since the success of Ned's Declassified. Outside of acting, Devin has a career in music. Don't we all? His first EP was titled I Am and was released back in 2013, with the second EP following two years later. Since then, he has come out with a few singles, but nothing big. If you're missing Ned Bigby, why not hop over to iTunes? Before it dies, that is. Coming in at four, Jason Zimbler, Clarissa explains it all. This is another number for all of our older viewers out there who grew up in the 80s and 90s and remember this classic Nick show, Clarissa explains it all. Jason Zimbler played Ferguson W. Darling, Clarissa's younger brother, who was always butting heads with his sister while looking for creative ways to make money. So, what has he been up to since the show came to an end? Well, for a period of time, he was directing theatre in New York City as well as worked with the Impetuous Theatre Group and has been the theatre head of Buck Rock's performing and creative arts camp. However, as of today, he's a software designer working full time at HBO in the IT department. Nice. Coming in at three, Sean Flynn from Zoe 101. Oh, Zoe 101, the show we all hated to love. Sean Flynn played the awkward yet lovable Chase Matthews during the show's four year run on Nick, with audiences waiting each episode with bated breath to see if his character would finally get together with Zoe. Since then, Flynn hasn't done much of anything, at least not in the acting world. He did briefly appear as student number two in The Conjuring, dreaming big, and in one episode of the show, Devious Mates. While he hasn't landed any major roles since his Nickelodeon fame, he did return as Chase Matthews for the short What Did Zoe Say? which was about the video that Zoe buried in a time capsule that revealed her feelings for Chase. You remember the one. Christopher Massey also starred alongside him to reprise his role as Michael, another actor we forgot about. Maybe he'll make it on part two. Coming in at two, Nate Rickett from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Sabrina the Teenage Witch was my favourite show growing up, and Nate Rickett, who played Harvey Kinkle, was a heartthrob to many who watched this Nickelodeon classic, based on the Archie comic series of the same name. Harvey was the lovable, handsome boy next door. However, after the show came to an end, Nate didn't do much acting, seemingly disappearing from the industry altogether. Little did we know he had turned his focus to music instead, with the former actor now residing in Minnesota, playing folky bluegrass music. He released his debut album back in 2012, titled Halogen Moon, and altered his look completely, from preppy to hipster. He has a lot less hair and a truly enviable mustache. Finally, in at number one, Matthew Underwood from Zoe 101. Yep, Zoe 101 back again at this number. While Chase was the lovable one, Logan was definitely considered by fans to be the hot one of the show, with Matthew Underwood playing the handsome, rich character who dated Quinn Pensky. However, after the show came to an end, so did his career seemingly, and whether he did appear as himself in Reality Horror Night in 2009, but hasn't landed any acting role since. Back in 2012, Underwood was arrested for drug possession, and a few months later he was arrested again for violating his probation. His charges were later dismissed, but his arrest certainly tainted his resume, making it hard for the actor to find any acting job since. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any Nickelodeon stars that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 10 celebrities who mysteriously disappeared. Megan Young said, I like this host, her vibe is chill. I'm far from chill, Megan, but thank you. Robert Jones said, Can you do top 10 80s movies? The Breakfast Club for starters, I'll let you pick the rest, or top 10 all time movies. 80s, we can definitely do. All time is far more subjective, but if you want my all time picks, let me know in the comments section. Franklin Francis said, Hi Lucy. Hi Franklin. Skulls XR said, Hate this host. Bring back the beautiful one. <laughs> Fine, I'll find myself. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. And until next time, see you later.